Hello everyone and welcome back to Alba, a wildlife adventure. Alrighty, we are going to continue our game. Alright, so we have to go find and heal the sick animals. We have to scan 20 different animals with our phone. So we can see what we've got going on in here. Uh, we also need to find sparrow hawks in the woods near town, which is around here as well. So... Let's go heal up some animals and find some sparrow hawks. And continue our preservation of the town. Our, our work on conservation, etc. Can we take down this fence? Not yet. Alright. There's our fourth squirrel friend. Arl starts petition to stop hotel and rescue six animals from mystery goo. Thank you so much for your help, Alba and Inez. I signed your petition. Let's protect the wildlife and the nature reserve. And please keep the first aid kit in case you find more sick animals. Tomorrow I should hopefully be able to tell you more about the goo. And that's it. Hasta mañana. Come, came up with a plan to stop the mayor's hotel? Check. Collected first signatures? Check. Save squirrels from unknown goo? Check. Hmm. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Festival Saturday. You're leaving Sunday. Alba. Means we had to deliver the petition to the mayor Friday afternoon. Three days to collect the signatures we need. The R roll accepts the challenge. We got this. Great day today, and tomorrow we're going to get even more signatures. Gotta go now. It's late. Good night. All right. So that's kind of the end of like today's set activities. However, oh no, um, we do want to take a look around for some wildlife, I think, and we want to try and find the sparrow hawks. So I don't believe we've um, we've not fixed the bridge in the nature reserve yet, but we do want to at least try and find the sparrow hawks. We are in the woods near town. So I expect they're in here somewhere. Alright, let's see. Have we looked at this yet? I don't think so, because we haven't done that. Alright, let's see. I know we have red squirrel. There we go. I don't know if we have the Eurasian, um, yeah, we don't. So we're still looking for the Sparrowhawk, but that's kind of our goal right now anyway, is the Sparrowhawk. Right? So try and find it. Dinner's almost ready. Come home when you're done adventuring. Will do, Grandpa. Okay, that's a collared dove. So we just go home at the end of the day. What's this? Alright, this I think is our sparrow hawk. Yep, Eurasian sparrow hawk. With a little nest of babies. Sparrow hawks nesting near town. I wish my photo looked that good of them. I want a better picture. You found sparrow hawks. My colleague is very grateful and signed your petition. Well done. There's like no good way to get a good picture of these guys. Oh, this is a pretty good angle. Sort of. Look at me! Okay. It's not amazing, but we did it. Let's go ahead, run back over here, get the sparrow hawk on the sign. That should be the sign sorted. Which is very good. Ta da! Alright, so we replaced all the photos in the forest animal sign, so that's completed. So all we have is 20 animals, um, replace damaged photos, which some of those we definitely just don't have the animals yet to replace the photos. <gasps> A new bird! I didn't think we'd had this one. Alright, the European goldfinch. So we got that just before it flew off. So that's very exciting. We got another new bird. Cute 
cute little cat over there. So how are we... Oh my goodness, I keep hitting the wrong button. How are we in general? Like, I would like to see... So we have one of eight for the beach, so we need a lot more. Same with farmland. Forest, we're doing pretty well. Rice field, zero. <laughs> Terraces, not so many. Town, not so many. So we'll maybe take the long way home and try and find some new animals. I am not against this plan. So we don't have a lot in town, but we'll be in town a little bit more later. So, I'm okay with not having all of them right yet. Hola, wait, I recognize you from the papers. You're Alba. You're like a local celebrity. I'm Idrissa, by the way. My family owns the gelato shop. It's so beautiful up here, you can see half the island. There's so many birds flying around. Are those swallows or sifts or mar swifts or martins? I can never tell. So we need to spend some more time down at the beach. We need to spend some more time at the terrace. Um. So we're going to get more access to more of the reserve tomorrow, I believe. Which is very exciting. And then we'll also get access to more animals. That's the secret. Let's see. That looks like a egret or a heron over there. So let's identify it. All right, we got the cattle egret. Oh, sorry, I was miles away. Amazing what these smartphones can do. When I was your age, all we had were record players. Couldn't carry one of those around in your pocket. That is true. All right, so we've not spent too much time over here yet. flew away. Let's try and chase it. There's something in the way, but hey, you can see its face. I think that counts. Common kingfisher. Alright, we got our 20 animals. Now we have to scan 30. It's like they just keep giving us more golds. That's okay with me, though. I think we know this duck. Yeah. We do. It's in the yeah, wildlife reserve. So, like, this is the rice fields area. Um, we've got animals to scan around here. It's definitely not a good picture, but we can identify it as the gray wagtail. It's gone! What are you flying about? Oh, it's unidentified. But it's so fast! There are a few that are really difficult to get. You are a chicken. But we have to put the chicken in the, the guide, so we gotta take a picture of a chicken. Alright. I really want a picture of you. Oh, there was like a split second. I keep thinking it's like about to be it. Oh my goodness, we got it! Yes! Oh, it's such a... It's not a great photo, but like you can see its little face, the barn swallow! Oh, okay. We got it. Picture of you. Yes. So, I mean, I think this is some of the most, like, fun stuff you get to do in this game. The story is wonderful, but I love just wandering around and looking for animals. So, we've got the donkey. Um, so, it's just like a farm animal. Hopefully, whoever owns this farm doesn't mind me wandering around in it, because that's what I'm doing. So much fun stuff to wander around and look at. What are you? You seem a little scared. 
All right, a common moor hen. We got the moor hen. Flamingos. I prefer it if you would look at me, please. We'll take it. The greater flamingo. What are you? Do we have you? No, we don't. I'm just finding new animals left and right. That's what happens when you don't like have any of the animals from an area. Black-headed gull. So I'm not going to spend too long just hanging out. We'll be heading back and starting the next day soon. But I did want to like start looking at everything. My poor Abel has dozed off again. He gets up early, works so hard, then sleeps half the day. I assume that that would be this person. We don't have this identified. This is a terrible picture. I'm totally breaking all my good picture rules. Which is very bad of me. Can we get these guys? I mean, we have to get closer, but maybe. They fly by in great swarms. Okay, they're gonna turn back. Alright, we got one. The great cormorant. Look at me. We're just going going ham with the birds. Some of those up there might be new, but they're going to be really difficult to get when they're flying around like that. We can sit here and overlook the rice fields. Let's sit. So peaceful. Nice view of the castle from here, even. Very nice. Alright, we've got another photo board. So let's see. Um... Western Swamp Hen, Great Flamingo. So we have the Flamingo. Um, I don't think we've seen this one with the long uh, slender beak yet. And I don't know if we've seen the Swamp Hen either. It looks like no. So I'll just have to keep an eye out for those critters. So let's just go up through the terraces on our way home. And that'll be it for this day in uh, our wildlife adventure. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. I find this game really adorable. It's available on Steam. Highly recommend it. It's a really fun little game. Let's just wander around the side and head up through the terraces. It's kind of a long way home, but we'll get there. We will get there. Do we have this yellow bird? No, we don't. This person's in the way. Did it disappear into the ground? Alright, well what are you? We got a sheep. Alright, we hit 30 animals. I want to see that little golden bird again. Anytime little Ola can't sleep or bring her out here, I think the wind and the sound of the waves soothes her. Well, I'm sad now. We found a little golden bird, and now we've lost it. Oh, I think that's it up in the tree. That's the back of it. <laughs> the European green finch. It's green, not gold. Silly me. So oh, that's a new one. Where are you going? You look like a pigeon. Are you a pigeon? Common wood pigeon. Yes, you are a pigeon. Very good. That's the gull. Alright, we got gulls and sheep. 
And that's a pigeon, right? Yeah. There's that green finch again. Oh, they seem to like these little trees. That's adorable. What's that? There's a bird in the mountainside. He moved very quickly, but we got him anyway. A European bee eater. He's rare. Is he the guy that has the long beak on that sign way over there? Probably not. We're definitely not in the same area. We are in the terraces now. So how's our animal guide doing now? For a little bit. But we're doing better, especially for terraces, rice fields. We're doing better. Um... So it'll tell you what you need. It's like we don't have this one. Um, so you can hear what they would sound like. It's really cool. I wish, you know, all wildlife guides that were physical books came with sounds. But they often don't. Um, so we have a few signatures. We have quite a few birds and animals still to find. Are you new? You flew away. No, you're not new. Alright, I am stuck in a cactus. Don't do that. Being stuck in a cactus is bad for one's health. Alright, so I believe this is my grandparents' house. We can talk to this person. Oh no, the sign here has fallen down. Voila, I'm you and member of the Wildlife Association. Sadly, there's only two of us, Clara and I. You must also be a fellow nature enthusiast. The terraces here are full of interesting animals. I just need them to stay still for a second so I can photograph them. Yeah, I know that problem. Call it dub. We know that one. Alright. Let's go talk to our grandparents and end the day. Amor, what a day. And what a shame about the nature reserve. But imagine all the good the luxury hotel will do. Tourism coming back, businesses reopening, new jobs. Our children don't need to move away anymore. It's going to revitalize the whole island. But not by sacrificing the nature reserve. Don't forget all the wildlife. It's their home, too. Hmm. My phone's been paying non-stop about your petition, Alba. Love the initiative. So proud of you. We obviously support you. Here, pass me the pen, and we'll both sign it, won't we, Abuelo? Sure. I mean, yes, of course. Anything for Alba. We've got this. Alba, you look hungry. Want me to make dinner now? Fantastic. Let's go eat. Alright, and thus ends our first full day. I believe it's the first full day. Maybe we've had one before. Oh no, yeah, we definitely have. Never mind. Um, so, ends another day. It's Wednesday now. Still love the music in this game. It's so good. For some reason, we wake up under this tree every morning. It's just where we live. Don't worry about it. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'm the Purple Pegasus, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.